Have you ever wanted Carpentry 50, but you suck? I have the perfect solution for you, and you profit from it most of the time. So I did stuff yesterday, uh, got myself up to Carpentry 48 without really doing anything from uh, 42, and uh, it took me like 10 minutes, and I made like 2 million coins. The only bad thing is you have to wait for the orders to fill, unless you want to instant buy it, which isn't as good, because you lose all your money. But yeah, it's better if you have a lot of money. I have 100 million coins in diamonds and sugarcane just sitting in this right here. Diamond sell for 1280. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. There is an NPC sell limit. Like, I, I sold like 20 stacks of enchanted diamond blocks, and then I just couldn't sell anymore. It made me sad. So basically what you do, you set up orders for stuff, normally sugar, because this is below NPC. It sells for 320 coins each. Enchanted diamonds sell for 1280 to the NPC, and you lose like one coin per if you sell as enchanted diamond blocks in the bazaar. You'd normally make this into enchanted sugar cane and sell it on the bazaar as well, but I feel like soon they're gonna add, uh, Alchemy 60, so 2.1 million. I'm gonna claim all the diamonds. Also, make sure you have a super personal compactor thingy so that it, you don't you don't have to do anything, you know? Just like that, I am like two clicks away from Carpentry 49. Uh, this is completely free. Diamonds are way more efficient. Uh, sugar is for the poor. Diamonds are for people that have a lot of money. At most, you'll lose like 100,000 coins if you buy bad. I'm not gonna buy sugar anymore. Uh, I'm just gonna sell the enchanted sugar cane. 71,680 enchanted diamonds, which is like five stacks of enchanted diamond blocks. If you know anything about diamonds, that's a lot of carpentry XP. So I should be able to hit uh, in carpentry 50 for free. Very, like I didn't realize that you can go from carpentry zero to 50 in like an hour, I even if you put up buy orders and you don't need to make perfect chest plates because I think that's even less efficient than buying diamonds. Basically what you do with the diamonds is you put up the order you go do stuff and once like after five to ten minutes you just come back and then see if the order is filled or whatever Anyhow, I bought this warden helmet and uh, this other set So this is gonna be the other half of the video. I have uh, my tank set up, which I don't use I also have rev armor. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. I bought this for 15 million coins I bought this for 150 million coins. I bought this for like I don't even know 70 million coins I, it, just, it doesn't matter. Okay, this has all got bl blast prot six and stuff the lion pet as well I bought a tiger pet and a wolf pet. If you have a Hyperion and don't play dungeons a lot, just freaking sell it, man. You don't need it, especially if you're a tank. It's so overkill. 763,000. 1.2 million. So, uh, the, the, the special thing about this lion pet is I bought it for uh, 45 million coins on recording. I think I still have it. Oh, I didn't shift as well. I think this gives speed or something. I'm not sure. It does something and it increases my damage by a lot. If we look on the uh, auction house, it's not 45 million coins anymore. You want to know how much it is? Why don't you just take a quick guess based on the fact that there's only seven there was only four three earlier today there's seven guess how much it is 69 million and that's a mining xp boost you go to antique remedies at 70 million 73 74 i saved 30 mil so originally i bought a tiger pet and i was like okay cool i two tapped tier fours and then someone in my guild was like hey why don't you buy a lion pet and i'm like why would i do that you freaking idiot and then i tried it and i was like oh my god that actually looks good it buffs combo triple strike and first strike it gives extra damage on your pet it gives actually good base stats and it increases for 15% extra damage on mobs that have attacked you. This is basically like an all-around pet you can use for everything. 42,000 diamonds? Oh my god. It's Carpentry 50 time, boys. I'ma just like get Carpentry 50. You know what I'm saying, bro? I also profit from it. No big deal. My inventory looks sus, but don't worry about it. And also this Warden Helmet can one-tap these wolves very, very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my wolf pet. And I, I can- I Also, with this Livid Dagger that I bought that's like maxed a lot i can basically one tap the wolf into phase two and then two tap it after that oh also 100 percent attack speed let's go i love the 100 percent attack speed it's overpowered i can't aim my order for the diamonds filled what people really do got a lot of diamonds sitting around for some reason i don't know why but okay 71680 got me halfway to level 50 uh i guess that just puts Puts it into perspective for you. Each inventory is making me like 70,000. Oh, I love this game, man. I love this game. The, the rich people still get poor doing this. But not me. I, I only need 1 million XP for level 50. And I will have lost nothing. All right, this should be it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's plenty. Boop. Harpentry 50. Let's go, boys. Now I gotta sell these back. 
God dang it. As you can see here, you have reached the daily limit of coins you may earn from NTVC shops. Frick you, Hypixel. I'm just kidding.